Hey, this is John with FixYourDirtBike.com. Uh, I am at the Cedro Peak um, riding area inside the Cibola National Forest, just east of Albuquerque. Uh, when I say just east, I mean about five miles east. So out here, you got full cell coverage. I got four full G, full 4G on my phone. Uh, it's it's pretty convenient. So I'm I, I'm more comfortable riding out here because if I go down, I can call for help. Uh, there's also quite a few people out here, uh, mostly mountain bikers. Lots of mountain bikers. And fortunately, they're all cool with the dirt bikes because most of them ride dirt bikes too. So uh, everyone I met out here is really, really friendly and they're more than happy to help if you get lost like I did a lot. Uh, weather out here is, well, I'm trying to rush through this because there's a storm coming. Uh, it's been sunny mostly, mid 70s, uh, very nice. Uh, elevations between uh, 6,000 and 7,500 feet, which doesn't make a whole lot of difference. It, it stays cool stays cool um, the trails are mostly um, I guess dry sand I guess because when it got wet it got really slushy and uh, rocks big grapefruitish rocks uh, a lot of the rocks are the kind that when they're in a row no big deal if it's just one it could kick your front end out from under you which is always fun um, trails are fairly easy uh, fairly fun fairly quick I hit one just now that I wasn't expecting. It's very, very, very tight single track. Uh, again, it was, it'd be a lot more fun if I wasn't super, super tired from yesterday. There's one trail called Powerline that is really fun. It goes uh, kind of in, there, there's two trails that kind of goes, kind of weave, weave together. Uh, one's just straight and the other one is kind of in the riverbank on the riverbed. So that's pretty cool where it kind of, you kind of just drop in and out of the riverbed at times. That's pretty fun uh, then you get to the hill and I, I know I'm I know I'm in the mountains but I was expecting some switchbacks nope straight up and I got about well I hope halfway up uh, I hit this this wall of rock that you either have to bunny hop into or do like a third gear pivot turn off the left and then come around and it's very very steep and I just kind of I just lost it and laid it down of course brand new bike I already have a dent in my exhaust that's nice uh, I, so I, I recover you know I look over and after that turn it's all like the, the flat rocks where you got to like, bunny hop up the entire damn thing so I, I didn't really want to do that anyway uh, but upon further inspection I found that once it turns there is a flat spot that'll that can be a good run up to get up the hill so uh, once I have my proper suspension put in I'll probably go after that again um, right now like I got a brand new bike uh, KTM 300 XCW and I have stock springs well you can tell I'm not small and the stock spring and the rear spring is good to 209 pounds so I exceed that by 120 pounds so I got to put a 0.82 in the back and 0.64 to the forks so you can imagine how I can't turn because the front end will just pack up and then I'll uh. so once I get the forks back in the uh, suspension uh, set up to my weight I'll be back and do some harder stuff because there's a lot of really neat stuff the like trails where you have the option of kind of going around the the steep steep rocks or just go right up them and that's obviously the more fun part I tried it once and just ate it because my suspension is packed up on me and I cased it on a rock Again, brand new bike, but there's a reason I'm not playing golf right now. This is a lot more fun and stuff like that happens. I drove, I rode for two and a half hours my first time out, just, just scoping the place out, going pretty slow. And I ate up uh, 30 miles of trail just in that two and a half hours of just kind of moseying around. So, so when you're, when you're at it with a purpose, you can eat up a lot of land and never see the same trail twice. I went to go look for this one trail where it's uh, it's a jeep trail and the ruts are so in deep that it, it kind of swoops back and forth. That was really fun because it's just kind of just, I felt like I was on an old BMX bike, you know, in a skate park, you know, just kind of swooping back and forth. That was fun. Couldn't find it again. There's like three jeep trails and I couldn't find it again. That's how much space is out here. And where I am, I'm like right next to the entrance on Highway 337 and I'm not even close I got to about the middle of the park and there's so much more to the southeast and way more to the southwest 
uh, but the ranger tells me that the southwest is mainly dirt uh, mountain bikes so the train down there is full of mountain bikes uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it's all you know very tight single track most of this is very tight single track there are very few atv trails uh, which i'm not complaining about because i don't like ruts um, but the main trails are jeep trails i do see a few big jeeps out here uh, just watch your corners because they're all a lot of blind corners and oh and the the rocks are just so where in the sun you can't really see like there's no shadows or anything you can't really see where the where the ruts and the and the kicks are so that gets kind of dicey yeah you got to look like right down you know you got a lot of up down up down up down seeing where you're going seeing where you are making sure you don't fall guts there's a lot of rocks, but again, it's in the mountains. So I would highly recommend this place just on, on sheer volume of trail. I mean, you can you come out here with a bar with a with a bunch of guys, and I mean you can I mean I, I spent two days up here and I had I had to call it quits. I mean it's like noon. I had to call it quits because I mean I just I'm so tired. Because the I'm just not I haven't had the opportunity to ride long, long distances like this in quite a while. So um oh speaking of bunch of guys for camping all they have around here is disbursement camp and like we see behind me not actual campsites just primitive stuff uh, i was lucky enough to find a fire pit that someone made but there i can see piles of you know ash around there is one campground called cedro group campground and for everything i can tell it's a private campground you can't even get you can't even get in there uh so but there's a lot of disbursement campings uh on almost every trailhead Lots of trailheads. There's eight, eight or nine trailheads. I mean, here's here's the map of the park, nice and colored for you. And I'm I'm sitting I'm right here. This is where I'm camping, right by the highway. And I I've made it up and down around here, and I accidentally went up here. But there's still all of that and all of that that I haven't hit. Eight trailheads. And and if you're really motivated, you can get. Each trailhead will link to each trailhead. All the trails, at some point, um, they will. You can get there. That's that's something I like to do again when I have whew, when I get used to doing long distances again. Because um, so I think that's that's about all I can say about this place. Um, oh, uh, wherever you are, I can hear I-40 from where I am up in the mountains. I mean, you can it's tiny, but you can see it and you can hear it at night. It's kind of odd because it's out in the middle of nowhere so again it's it's a nice mix of uh, wilderness and seclusion but you still have 4g full cell service and you can you're five minutes away from a grocery store or well five miles depending on where you get out of the mountains so um make sure to like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos see you next time